Welcome back to Remember Me. Let's try to find Scylla Cartier Wells. Ooh, I hear one of them. There you are. Pew pew, pew pew. Wait, where am I supposed to go? I thought it was up here, but this is where I went to jump onto the... the person's plane jet thing and steal their memory. I guess this is the perils of stopping playing for the night and then starting the day after. I don't remember exactly where we were. I mean, I sort of do, but it feels like I'm definitely missing something. Oh, I hear another one of them. <laughs> it's back there. We can- oh, we can un- oh my god, we can unlock another multiplier. Can you multiply a multiplier? Does that just make it do like a million times more damage? We actually have two keys. Okay, well I definitely want the multiplier. Aside from that, I don't- there's no reason to spend it until I have a slot to use it in. Oops. So, um... Let's try tossing that out. Let's make this another damage, and then we'll toss this out, and then put a second chain in and see what it does to chain a chain. Oh yeah, that does a lot of damage. I think without that, if it's just a damage chained once, I think it does like 500 damage. 550? Yeah, so from 550... to 690. That is amazing. <laughs> so is that what I want to do? Do I want to use it for damage? I mean, probably, yeah. It's kind of the most important thing. And three heals in here is pretty good. And if I wanted four heals, I could replace this with a healing one. In fact, maybe let's do that. Wait, no. Eh. Uh. No, I don't want to remove anything. How, why can't I go to the right side and select my presence? One of your combos is broken. I know. Does it work now? Okay, I think it was bugged or something. Uh, like I was going to do, if I put another heal in here, how does that affect my damage? I, it barely affects it, because it's not near the end of the chain, and it's not being chained. All I need is one damage towards the end, and then two chains. Yeah. Uh, okay, do I want to make another one? Actually, yeah. 
So this one, I filled the end one in, the Y, with a damage presence because I just didn't have another S present cooldown, but now we can unlock another one. There we go. That's going to reduce everything by 54 seconds. It's really good. Y, X, Y, X, Y. Sweet. Alright, that's creepy. I feel like they're taunting me with these. I feel like they're suggesting that even though the valets normally aren't supposed to attack humans, something's going to happen. They're going to be reprogrammed to attack me or something. I, I really get that feeling. Paris VIPs. Silla Cartier Wells. Oh, we've seen them on the billboard talking. A pure product of the Brains Hothouse. What? Funded by Memorize, Simran Silla Sial was always destined to make her career in this prestigious multinational. After her marriage to Charles Cartier Wells, she quickly rose up the ranks to the top of this most powerful privately owned company, which she proceeded to rule with a rod of iron. Born in 2037 in Delhi to an Indian father and an Ethiopian mother, Simran Sial grew up in a wealthy family of IT experts who were employed at Memorize. Her difficult personality prompted her father to nickname her Scylla, an alias that stuck in which she would formally adopt as her first name. Scylla Sayal upheld the family tradition and studied computer science at the Brains Hothouse in Delhi, founded by Antoine Cartier-Wells. She followed her father to Neo-Paris, where he was transferred in 2052 when the multinational moved its head off his back to the renovated capital. Here she met Charles Cartier-Wells, a young and brilliant scientist who was already researching the mechanics of memory digitization. She joined his team as an assistant in 2056, and they married the following year. After the birth of their first child, she remained her husband's assistant until 2064, when she lost her left leg in a serious car accident. After several months of rehabilitation and physical reconstruction, she returned to work at the Memorize head office and joined the executive board in spring of 2065. Exactly two years after her accident, she was appointed CEO, the supreme head of the company, a position she still holds. A woman of few words and little time for social niceties, Scylla Cartier-Wells forged her image as a woman totally dedicated to her work and her company. Under her leadership, Memrise became the most famous and prosperous economic powerhouse in the world. Trace just had the HQ riddled with bullets. What a loony. Oh, right. Back to where we were before when we got spotted. Listen up, reconversion dogs. Time to earn your slots. Get her. Yes! Yes! Get her! Ah! 
You might have just heard that audio glitch. I thought it was my audio equipment just being a problem, not in the recording, not in the game, but just on the listening side for me. But I looked back at the recording last time and it it was actually in the game. I, I don't know why that's suddenly happening. I haven't changed anything, but yeah, the the game or my computers having audio glitches that are actually in the recording as well as I can hear them. Strange. Okay, last time, this worked very well and didn't do any damage to me. Yeah. Oh, they're not dead. Damn it. Awesome. So I think I just need to get down the cooldown. Hell yeah, there we go. I want them all together. Come on, come on. All right, that's good. thing for this. to heal. Oops, wrong one. for a little neuromancy. Activate Captain Trace's remembering. Let his broken memory speak up.
first is second. We're counting them all. My second is frozen on absolute. My third has all its senses. My fourth tap dances like a spider. And all put together, I can go through a door. Okay, let me listen to that a couple times. Okay, think I got it. My first is second. I'm counting them all. First is second, so two. My second is frozen on absolute. Absolute zero, so zero. My third has all its senses. All its senses, the five senses. My fourth tap dance is like a spider. Spiders have eight legs. Two zero. Five, eight. And all put together, I can go through a door. Yeah. Lighting here is so dramatic. Here we have it. Reconversion. Scylla Cartier Wells grand project. Leapers transformed into obedient, disposable tools. Find that bitch and toss the rotten apples from her rotten mind. Stop this foolishness and get back to work. Your families are under Saber Force protection and we have a strict schedule to keep. Fear and Discord are on our side. These floods give us the perfect mandate to launch the reconversion project. Projections predict two digit margins for the next quarter. So we are going to ride this tide and wait for the profits to roll in. Okay. So Miss Cartier Wells is an Uber Queen bitch. Ah. Stop this foolishness and get back to work. Your families are under Saber Force protection and we have a strict schedule. Fear and Discord are on our side. These floods give us the perfect mandate to launch the reconversion project. Projections predict two digit margins for the next quarter. So we are going to ride this tide and wait for the profits to roll in. Okay, so Miss Cartier Wells is an Uber Queen bitch. I have two cats on my desk right now. I'm, I'm very distracted. <laughs> <laughs> no, one of them's playing with nail clippers on my desk. Poopa, get out of here. Saber Force protection, and we have a strict schedule to keep. Fear and Discord are on our side. Technology. Pick socket. The pick socket is a small, versatile, illegal, and efficient device that generates dual digital and energy generates a dual digital and energy salvo to open digital locks and security systems. If you have forgotten your entry code, the locksmith who comes to open your door may well have an electronic skeleton key that will do the job for him. Dubbed the pick socket, this is merely the digital version of its ancestor, the pick gun. As usual in the security sector, the appearance of the pick socket came in the wake of the development of digital lock technology and the spread of digital locking mechanisms. The first known pick sockets were a crude assembly of basic electronic and digital components. Faced with the constant innovations in digital lock manufacture, skilled craftsmen and other shady locksmiths gradually refined the pick socket technology, notably by simplifying its essential components. During the last few years, the Saber Force has admitted seeking tools capable of opening the most stubborn locks. 
It is a veritable Swiss army knife for thieves of the digital era. Luckily, pick sockets of this caliber are rare and far beyond the reach of amateur cat burglars. The pick socket's operating principles aren't complicated. It's all in the quality of the manufacturer. It emits a salvo of junk data and energy capable of overloading and cracking numerically coded systems forcing them to enter binary mode, i.e. on or off. A pick socket must be charged up to reliably emit a salvo which could considerably hamper a thief confronted with a series of physically diverse digital locking mechanisms. These floods give us the perfect mandate to launch the reconversion. Well, I'm going to be getting that thing soon. Projections predict two digit margins for the next quarter. So we are going to ride this tide and... Edge, I found that piece of trash's office. You know, that woman was a good person before a tragic accident. Maybe I could make her forget. That won't undo the physical scars. No, make her responsible for the accident. Appease her bitterness. She must stop hating the world for what happened to her. Here goes everything. So, wait a second. They're going with the reason Scylla Cartier-Wells is a terrible person is because they lost a leg in a car accident and that made them hate the world? Because they lost a leg? They became disabled, at least for a brief amount of time, before getting a constructed replacement leg? And that made them evil? Uh... Yeah, that's not good. Philippe, make me a list of all staff that left their post in spite of my instructions. Yes, ma'am. Anything else? That's all for now. Weak, pathetic sheep. Incapable of enduring the slightest discomfort. Crave our trauma white packs more than refugees crave a glass of water. Your despair make my fortune. Me, I am not afraid. Me, I don't forget anything. Stella, darling, is everything all right? You should have been home hours ago. They started work on the Murray Ferrick. I had to take a detour through New Belleville and traffic was bad. Did you find Jax? Jax! Jax! Yes, I did. And next year, you're the one in birthday detail. Your daughter has been impossible ever since she saw me buy her gift. Can I have it now? Please! I spent the day at the lab. Did you have the time to read Hello, my memo Mama. on Memorial Just Therapy? Just finished shopping with Mummy. Hello there, my little smarty. Behave yourself with your mother, promise? Charles, dear, I'm not convinced the clients are going to accept your idea. Storing memories seems like a more commercial argument to me. Can't you imagine the possibilities? <laughs> Human Mommy, memory give management. It to me. We'll talk about it tomorrow, okay? Right now, I'm thinking it might not be such Mommy. a bad idea if your daughter would forget Mommy, it look. was her birthday. Stop it, Nilin. <laughs> Calm down right now. You'll get your gift at home. Nalin, sit still and be quiet. Mommy, look! Nalin, sit back down. <laughs> Nalin, sit down right now! 
Child locks engaged. <laughs> Mummy's just trying to keep you safe. You must never do that again. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so where their daughter? Also, who does that? <laughs> you just had a crash and your first thought is to blame your very young daughter? Fuck you, you did this to me! God damn it, you bitch, I should have never had you! Like, what the hell? <laughs> this is almost comically, just comically evil and silly and ugh. It's more funny than anything, it's just ridiculous. Okay. I'm sure we're going to be able to do something with the coffee. Airbag. Is that to deploy the airbag? I mean, that wouldn't make them responsible. And we can also retract the cup holders so they try to put the coffee down and it spills instead. Okay, however, I think this is going to immediately kill them, but I got to see what happens, right? All right. Oh, wait, what what did we do to it? I thought it was going to deploy immediately. Maybe it's just going to not deploy when they need it. So then... Scylla is just going to be obliterated in the crash. <laughs> Let's go forwards. Okay. Mommy? Mommy! <laughs> oh yeah, they did. keep missing the right spot. Ah, why do you do that? Okay, so you're going to spill the coffee? That's a huge coffee, by the way. Freaking massive. Scylla, darling. So they didn't spill it yet, but they put it somewhere where it could very easily be spilled. Open the handbag. Oh, there's a toy in there. Scylla, darling, is everything all right? Oh, wait, that toy. Scylla. That, uh, that toy, we saw an ad for it, and Ilan was like, hey, I remember seeing this ad or seeing this toy or something like that. Scylla, darling, is everything all right? That's why they remember it. Ago. They started work on the Mary Ferrick. I had to take a detour through New Belleville, and traffic was bad. Jax. Activate Jax? Oh, it's going to distract them. Turn on the LCD screen. Sure, let's do everything and see what happens. We kind of have to figure out how all these pieces interact. Jax. Jax, Jax! Yes, I did. 
And next year, you're the one in birthday detail. Your daughter has been impossible ever since she saw me buy her gift. Can I have it now? Please. I spent the day at the lab. Did you have the time to read Hello, my Papa. memo on memorial Just therapy? Just finished shopping with Mummy. Hello there, my little smarty. Behave yourself with your mother, promise? Charles, dear, I'm not convinced the clients are going to accept your idea. Storing memories seems like... Notice the interesting... Um... I don't know what to call it, but notice how Silla Cartier Wells said your daughter, but uh, pretty sure Silla is their mother. Charles just said that they're their mom, so Silla already sees them as not even their child, even though I think they borned them. I'm not convinced the clients are going to accept your idea. Storing memories seems like a more commercial argument to me. Can't you imagine the possibilities? <laughs> Human Mommy, memory give management. It to me. We'll talk about it tomorrow, okay? Right now, I'm thinking it might not be such Mommy. a bad idea if your daughter would forget Mommy, it was look. her birthday. Stop it, Nalini. Calm down right now. You'll get your gift at home. <laughs> Nalini. Break the windshield. Sure. Yeah, so they just stop and deal with the problem. I got a feeling we need to undo the LCD screen. We need it to not be Nilin's fault. I mean, it never was, but we need <laughs> evil Scylla to not think it was Nilin's fault. So I think I need to basically appease Nilin and make them, you know, not try to annoy their mom. The LCD screen did that, but then they wanted the toy, so I think I should go back and just give them the toy. Wait, what? No! Did you find Jax? Jax! Jax! Yes, I did. And next year, you're the one in birthday detail. Your daughter has been impossible ever since she saw me buy her gift. Can I have it now? Please! I just want to do it now. Funny. <laughs> did you have the time to read my memo on the uh, Can you Charles, walk on your I'm not convinced the clients are going to accept your idea. Storing memories seems like a more commercial argument to me. I wish I could do that. Can't you imagine the possibilities? <laughs> Are you hungry? We'll talk about it tomorrow, okay? No. Right now, me I'm neither. thinking it might not be such a bad What's idea your if your color? daughter would forget <laughs> it was her birthday. Me too. <laughs> would you like to go on a walk with me? I don't think breaking the windshield now would do anything different, but eh, maybe. What's that? Oh shit! The memo! Bad word, bad word! <laughs> Daddy's gonna kill me! Oh, I think that might have actually worked! My darling. My leg. Yes, that's definitely what people think about right when an accident has just happened and adrenaline is flowing and everything is immediately assigning blame. Mommy! Mommy!
Maman. Hélène. Your leg. Oh, baby. It wasn't your fault. I should have been more careful. And it was your birthday. Oh, my poor girl. I am so sorry. I'm sorry too. Ironic, no? President of Memorize, who refuses to forget the worst day of her life. I'd lost all this. All of it. Sorry, I just keep thinking of how fucked up this whole thing is. We made them a good person, not by making them realize that they're an asshole and they shouldn't have blamed their young daughter for the fucking car crash, but instead by convincing them that it was actually their fault and not the kid's fault. That, what the fuck? Ma'am, the errorist agent has been spotted on your floor. A squad is on its way up. Thank you, Philippe. I'm ready for them. I've just pulled us apart. But you will always remain my daughter. I'll never do anything to harm you. Mama, I... take it. Run. It leads to the roof. Run. Remember you soon. Philippe. Tomorrow morning, we will reevaluate the strategy for the reconversion project. For now, everyone go home. Return to your families. You too, Philippe. Certainly, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I am the daughter of Scylla Cartier Wells. I am the lost heir to the memorized dynasty. This is one screwed up joke. Just as I was gaining my bearings, a sense of purpose, now I'm lost again in a sea of uncertainty. What kind of twisted game is Edge playing? Can I even trust him? But still, he wants to show me that his fight is just. So, one last time, I'll place my life in his hands and follow his lead. He said that Memorize's most shameful secrets are hidden, buried beneath La Bastille. This was the justification for me to remix my own mother, a mother that I had forgotten I had. Eating my past to create a better future. I'm tired of running, and I want answers 